The Golden Retriever is a very popular breed for families across the world due to their playful, loving and gentle nature. In today's video, we will be comparing the energetic and loyal breed with the Kangal. The Kangal, bred as a shepherd's companion and a guardian of livestock, are strong-willed and loyal in nature. Welcome back to the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Golden Retriever, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Goldens. So if you're a lifelong Golden Retriever lover, thinking about getting one, or you're just starting your journey with your new puppy, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future golden retriever video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The golden retriever was developed in the Scottish Highlands on the estate of Lord Tweedmouth. He bred many animals trying to perfect different breeds, but his records show that what he was aiming for was a talented retriever with a remarkable sense of smell, attentive to their human hunting companion, and loyal and even-tempered in the home. The descendants of the golden retriever include that of spaniels, setters, wavy and flat-coated retrievers. Tweedmouth kept the mostly yellow puppies to continue breeding and gave the rest to friends and relatives. The breed was admired for their skills in the hunting field and their calm and comforting nature in the home. The Kangal is a Turkish shepherd dog that is thought to have ancestors that date back 6,000 years. It is believed that tribes from the Central Asia brought the first Mastiff types dogs into the area now known as Turkey, and sighthound breeds from southern regions are believed to have contributed to the Kangal's agility and tall appearance. Due to the climate of the area and rural terrain, the locals were dependent on their flocks of sheep to live. The Kangal as a breed was the protector of the sheep and the shepherds themselves, staying with them through night and day, running quickly from one side of a scattered flock to another, and standing up to large and strong wild predators. Intense breeding of only the best working dogs resulted in a very uniform dog with an incredible ability in protecting the flocks. They would protect the flocks with their lives against large wild animals, making them very desired in the area. Now, the size of the two breeds is pretty different. The Kangal is an impressively sized dog with males standing at 29 to 32 inches and females standing 28 to 31 inches tall at the shoulder. Males tend to weigh around 110 to 150 pounds and females weigh between 80 to 120 pounds. Golden Retrievers are smaller in size compared to the Kangal with males standing 23 to 24 inches at the shoulder and weighing 65 to 75 pounds and females usually 21 to 22.5 inches tall weighing 55 to 65 pounds. The Kangal has a short, dense and weatherproof coat with a thick undercoat. It is flat and lays closely to the skin with a slightly longer area on the neck, shoulders and tail. They range from cream through to fawn, dun or steel grey with a dark or black mask and ears. They have a small amount of white on their chest, toes and chin and occasionally a black or white tip on the tail. Golden Retrievers have a different coat to the Kangal. They have a dense and water repellent outer coat with a thick undercoat. They have long wavy or straight hair with fur feathering on the back of their front legs and underbody with very heavy feathering on the chest, back of thighs and their tail. They can be all shades of gold from very light to dark gold. As with all dog breeds, it is important to be aware of any certain health conditions that the breed you are interested in can be more prone to. Goldens can be prone to a range of health problems including hip and elbow dysplasia, cataracts and other eye problems, heart conditions, allergies, bone problems, blood disorders, bloat, epilepsy, glandular issues and cancers. The Kangal is also prone to various health conditions including hip and elbow dysplasia, mange, glandular conditions and eye problems. Golden Retrievers are extremely sweet and calm in nature with a gentle demeanour towards everyone. They were bred to work with people and are always very eager to please their owners, which can make training a Golden easy in most cases. But obviously, with consistency, time and effort, you will have a well-rounded and well-trained adult Golden. They are sociable dogs that adore the company of other family members, making them perfect as a family pet, especially in families with children as they love to play and continue to be a puppy throughout their life. 
Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Although the Kangal was bred to protect, they are not actually an aggressive breed by nature, but they can be quite stubborn and slightly territorial. They have a steady temperament and are naturally independent and highly intelligent, which may mean they can sometimes be tricky to train as they are happy to do their own thing. Consistency is extremely key when training such a strong-willed and independent breed. They are loyal to their owners and with lots of early socialisation they can be much more confident and friendly when it comes to meeting unfamiliar dogs and strangers, which is important when having this dog as a pet. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated golden videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show.